Richard Becker, Watercolor, Marks, Part 2. I don't think in uh, video one it was quite clear about the lifting up of the um, marks using Q-tips. So um, you can see here where I'm using that to soften up and lifting out some of these areas in here, blending some of those colors after the paint's dried. What we want to do here is take the Q-tip, get it wet, scrunch it down so that the Q-tip is fairly firm but wet, going back and forth with the Q-tip, and then start to turn it a little bit. So we're lifting out the paint, and the paint's going on to the cotton swabs. So you see how that's working and how much paint I was able to lift out doing that. It's much like using a brush or a sponge, just it's very controllable. So same thing with the brush. I'm going over the area, getting it wet, cleaning that brush off, going back and pushing in and lifting out. And you can see how I can lighten up or lift out the paint. Same thing with the sponge for a bigger area. Getting it wet, wringing out most of the water, going in there, gently rubbing and pushing in with a sponge, watching the paper, making sure it's not tearing up, because that's one thing you want to avoid is tearing the paper. And you can see how you can lift out quite a bit of the paint, if not all of it. And I've used that technique in some of these areas to soften up, lifting out some paint to get that splashing of the water. There was also the scraping out with the razor blade. Here's a good example of that. Where in most cases, what you want to do is paint around the whites. Here, it was easier to paint in the darker ripples in the water, letting the paint dry, and then going in with the razor blade and scratching out those highlights. So taking the single-edged razor blade, exacto knife, something like that, and scratching it out. Now remember, this has to be the last thing you do in the painting, at least in this area, because if you do too much of this, the paint's going to, and try to paint in there, the paint's going to go in and look really bad. It's called a scar when you paint over an area and you see how it just looks all torn up and the paint sinks in and looks uh, really dark and uncomfortable. So don't do that. All right, hopefully that cleared up some of those issues. So I will see you again in the next video. Okay.